everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to do a little bit of a declutter inside of GoodNotes. I've been using GoodNotes for years. I got started with using GoodNotes with GoodNotes 4, which now converted into GoodNotes 5, which has now converted into GoodNotes 6. If you're interested in my videos on GoodNotes 5 or GoodNotes 6, I will have all of those linked below. I've created quite a number of them for the channel, but because I've been using GoodNotes for so long, both for note-taking in college and now digital planning and other templates and projects, it's gotten quite cluttered and just disorganized and I wanted to go through good notes today, reorganize with all of my folder structures and kind of just get rid of anything that needs to be gotten rid of, you know? So I thought that would be fun to film and maybe you can tag along with me throughout the process. So feel free to put me on in the background if you're working or if you're going to go ahead and declutter your good notes as well. I like this as a great practice because you know, it's always helpful to kind of unload some of the literal space of these apps. So hoping to clear up a decent bit of good notes today. Let's head into my settings though, and we will go to iPad storage. I just want to see initially how much is taken up with good notes. I do have the M2 iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and I got the one terabyte size. I did have a two terabyte iPad. That was the M1 iPad. And whenever I upgraded, I decided to go with the one terabyte just because I feel like two terabytes is a lot of space, but I do want to make sure that I'm being more cognizant and aware of the spaces certain apps are taking up on my device. So currently goodness is taking up around 22 gigabytes worth of storage. We have 21.61 to start. And yeah, I feel like that's quite a bit of data for GoodNotes. I'm honestly surprised it's not more, but I do try to go in and regularly delete some files I know I'm not using, but it has been quite a while and I'm feeling pretty cluttered with GoodNotes lately. So we're gonna go ahead and open GoodNotes. Actually first, I'm actually gonna go to the app store first and I'm gonna make sure GoodNotes is updated. Sometimes updates add extra storage space to apps and I wanna make sure that I go ahead update good notes and that can just help me a lot with my process so i do need to update my GoodNotes 6 so we'll just go ahead and do that really quickly before hopping in with a massive declutter and organization of the app i think this is also the perfect time to declutter and organize good notes as well we're approaching the end of the year here and it would be just nice to have an organized good notes new folder structures or setups and organization and just kind of getting rid of stuff that I'm not using in my app. Okay, so now that it's updated, we'll just go ahead and open him up so we can go ahead and get started. So I think what I'm gonna start with is just going through kind of the main page here, getting rid of things that I'm not using or that I probably won't be using. I do wanna set up an archive folder just so I can keep certain files within GoodNotes. Obviously I do a ton of testing for digital planners and things to make sure things are kind of looking how I expect them to look and work in GoodNotes. And so sometimes I like to keep those and kind of some of my older files that just have kind of a bunch of memories because a lot of times a planner is kind of like a memory as far as what you did that day or what you hoped to do that day. So I do want to set up an archive folder just so I can move in. Some of those files that I don't necessarily know what to do with yet, I think would be really helpful. So let's go ahead, start up a new folder. And I'm just going to call call this archived and we will make it, oh, there's an extra A, archive. I'm just using scribble here. We will make it a black folder and I'm not sure if I want an icon or not for this. We'll go with that. That feels right. Click done. And then that folder is pretty stark compared to my other folders. So I think that will be a great option there to have as well. I do like to have my documents within GoodNotes ordered by type. I like to see all of the folders first before I see any of my kind of loose files here. But you can organize your files by date or by name. I just think type kind of makes the most sense to me here. You can also organize it in list format or in the gallery view. Gallery view works great for me because I'm a very visual person and I like to see this kind of set up here. So for my archive, I know I want to put my 2023 digital planner for Cyberry in there. I'm just gonna drag and drop that guy in there. This is my current planner that I'm using. This is the 2023 Cyberry Mini that comes with the 2024 Cyberry Planner. 
So I'm just gonna leave that guy out for now. These are testing files, and I think I'll be safe to delete those now. I'm gonna delete C5, move him to the trash. This is a testing file for the 2023 version of the portrait planner for Cyberry. And so that one safely be deleted as well. And these are the download libraries for my planner. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the mini version since I already imported the mini version. These are templates that I'll need to kind of dive a bit further into. This is another testing file. This is a testing file, my mid-year planner. So we'll delete those for sure. And let's see, my mid-year planner, I will move to archive. And then I have a morning and an evening journal, though I haven't used those in quite a while actually. So maybe that's something I can explore doing more of as well. And my morning journal, I do have a few of those in here. I think for now I will delete those and I might set up entirely new ones if I don't just use that for my digital planner as well. So we'll delete those. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this SAT map prep. That was me kind of just testing out features for the Goodnet 6 video. So we're gonna go ahead and delete that, move to trash. And then I have my journals here and templates. So my pregnancy journal, I haven't hopped into in quite a while just because I'm also doing a pregnancy journal like traditional with pen and paper, just because I thought that would be nice to pass down to my family or something that my child might like to see eventually. Though I did fill out one of the pages just to show an example for that listing. But I might also like to, during my maternity leave, kind of move over the stuff that I wrote in my actual journal into my digital one so I can also kind of have my own little copy on my iPad. It might also be helpful because I know there's quite a few lists in here that I made that I might like as well as far as this, especially with the registry. So I'll leave that for now and then I have some templates here. So this was kind of a working copy of the weekly page in 2024 Siberi. This was just me kind of testing out the spacing and things that I might like about kind of using a spread like this. And this is just a dark mode version to test out the coloring. So yes, this is another testing file. So we'll move that one to the trash. So that is definitely something that I wanna keep and I might actually move that into my pregnancy journal. Okay, so this is where we are, perfect. So I'll probably just start with my baby folder. This is a bunch of checklists and workbooks I got through my either doula or my birth course, things like that. A lot of this does need to be updated though. I do have updated sheets for this. So I'm going to delete the ones I know I have updated. Then I might rename this, this has a crazy name. We'll do birth prep. I'm also gonna go ahead and move my pregnancy journal and my simple food diary into that baby folder as well, just so those you know are related to baby. I might change folder color. And I'll just try it out. We'll do green and do a little moon. That's cute. This is my testing folder where I kind of test out everything kind of before it reaches everybody else. So yeah, we'll definitely need to go through this folder here. And my 2024 folder was kind of the folder that I created to go in and create those tutorial videos for you all for Cyberry. I'm gonna move that one to the trash since I know I don't need that. My class notes are things that I've archived that I thought were really great examples of digital note taking on the iPad. And so these I've just created in a folder that I can reference later and share with you all. So I'm gonna leave this as is. However, this is just a blank page. So I know I don't need that. Move that to the trash. So I think I will leave class notes as is, and I think that'll be good. Okay, so now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and hop over into my testing folder. This is where I kind of just store all of the files that I'm testing normally. Sometimes they still end up just, you know, kind of floating in the documents section, um, but I do try to keep those organized into a testing folder. I do want to change up this folder a bit because I don't want two greens next to each other. So we might just have to choose a different color here, maybe orange. You can do orange here. And if I hop over into that, you can see all of kind of the files that I have tested over time. And then we have multiple copies of the 2024 version of Cyberry. Some of the copies I like to hold on to just because I've created kind of example spreads within them. I've kind of copied over 
my past spreads honestly to see how they kind of look and work inside of this planner. And so I'm probably going to hold on to this one just because there are example spreads in this. But to kind of denote that there are example spreads, I might just go ahead and add examples or example on the side, just so I know that there are examples that I can share of different templates and spreads that were created just to give you all some ideas as well. This one I don't believe has any, any sample spreads that I've created. So I'm okay with removing him from our thing there. So I'm just going to go through each of these, kind of look to see if there are any example spreads that I might have created in getting ready for the 2024 launch of Cyberry. And if not, I'm just going to remove those. So now I have my testing folder all cleared out, feels great, and I know what files have example spreads that I can use later, manipulate later, or share as far as if you need spread ideas, things like that. I like to have those kind of available to me in my testing folder. My K Digital Studio folder kind of holds a bunch of things that definitely need to be organized and gone through. So this holds a lot of the previous old testing files. It holds a lot of kind of older K Digital Studio products that are kind of sentimental to me because it's kind of like the start of K Digital Studio. So I'm gonna go through each of these and see what I wanna hold on to. And there are some that I might move over into my archive or my testing folder just so I can reference kind of older materials so you can kind of see the growth of Kate's Drill Studio. I think it'd be fun to also highlight and share older products and things like that. So I already know off the bat these are two older planners that I have. I'm going to go ahead and move all three of those into my archive folder. So my older planners that I used to work on. This also is probably an older planner that I used to use. Yes, my old academic planner so we will go ahead and also move that one to archive as well and then i'm just going to go through the rest of these very similar to how i did previously to kind of just go through and declutter this section of my goodness So I've gone through my folders and just kind of like to see if there were any example spreads that I might want to use in the future or kind of incorporate into other example spreads as well as deleted things that I'm not going to use or don't have any need for in my goodness right now. So I did a bit of rearranging, colored some folders, so now I have all of the colors plus a duplicate, so that is fun. I'm going to leave my mini planner as well as the download library for my 2024 planner just kind of free floating. I like to have those easily accessible from the main page of GoodNotes, so those are the planners that I am going to be using, so I'll just have those floating out the side there. One thing that I did do is in my KTL Studio folder, I actually moved the testing folder in there and then I created a, a separate folder called examples and this is where I moved all of those example files of spreads that I really liked. I thought that it could be reused or reshared later. I put those in that folder and then I'm going to save this testing folder for when I'm actively testing products and things like that. And I'm not currently, so I have that there. And yeah, all ready to go. The only folder I haven't really tackled necessarily is my stickers folder. And that is because I have to go through and there's some sticker sets that I want to update. And so what I'm going to do for this folder is just reference sticker files that I feel like need to be updated and then go through and delete the ones that I know are already updated or that I won't be using or won't be updating later. So for that, I know that I'm not going to update this. 
This is a free set from Good Notes, so I'll just hold on to that one for now, as well as these bullet journal stickers. Yeah, just doing a quick look through for my stickers here, just to see what I am working with with this. Okay, so I'm just gonna move those to the trash. The rest I want to go over kind of more in depth and kind of create a list of things that I feel like need to be updated as far as older products that I can update or just refresh. And stickers is one of the bigger things on my list of things to kind of go through and do that. So that is going to be kind of more of a additional planning session just to kind of go through these to make sure that things are already refreshed how I like or, you know, updated and refreshed and kind of relaunched in a different way. A lot of the stickers in here are also newer stickers that I've created and so of course I want to hold on to those in this folder as well. So this is my stickers folder. I can easily pop in here and grab from my older sticker sets or my newer sticker sets of course to use in my digital planner. So with that everything is updated and ready to go and now the part that I've really been waiting for is to hop over into the trash bin and delete everything. So all of my folders are organized, we're ready to go. Let's hop over into our trash bin. We can click our gear shift icon and come down to trash. Then you can see all of the stuff that, you know, takes up tons of space and whatnot. In my goodness app, I got sticker files, got huge heavy planner files before I figured out a way to kind of minimize and optimize the sizes of my planners and just things that I don't use or won't be using in the future. And I'm very excited to empty this. I'm going to empty all of our documents and our trash bin it looks like our emptying of all of these files has frozen goodness, which is fabulous. Okay, so I had a little issue there with goodness freezing up, but let's see if our trash bin is emptied. Yes, our trash bin is now empty and everything feels so much nicer in my good notes. I know it's not full of clutter and things that I just know I need to get through. Now let's hop over into the settings to see if that affected my storage at all for good notes. And it did. So now I have brought down my space within GoodNotes down to 14.11 gigabytes, which I'm really happy about. I'm glad that that kind of translated over into my iPad storage as well. So I was able to clean up quite a bit of things within GoodNotes. So I'm really happy that I went through decluttering and organizing this app. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was kind of a different video and kind of interesting. I don't know if any of you have gone through and decluttered or organized your GoodNotes app recently or any notes taking out here using, I feel like it might be time to, now that it's the end of the year, go through and kind of clean things up in our digital spaces and make those as, just as nice as our physical spaces, just as decluttered and just as organized. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any other videos you would like to see from me, do let me know down in the comments below. I love hearing your suggestions and seeing what you're interested in seeing on this channel. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video next week. Thank mm -hmm. you.